Hey everyone, welcome back to my series on digital declutter. Today we're covering a topic that I think a lot of people struggle with, but is it has some very quick, easy fixes, and that is bookmarks and tabs. We're gonna be talking specifically about bookmarks in two different ways. We're gonna be talking about how to organize it within your browser, but then also how to use Notion to save all of your bookmarked pages. And then we're also gonna be talking about battling tabs. I don't know if you know, a lot of people that have a million tabs open, I have a very, very simple trick for this that I use for everything, and it's gonna be literally like a minute long. So it's gonna be very easy for you to understand and we'll be able to get all of your tabs organized. So let's just get to it. My name is Jenna and I run this YouTube channel where I talk about digital organization, marketing, Notion, ADHD, lots of things. So I hope you guys subscribe for more and let's move on to this video. So let's start with bookmarks because I think that this is a little bit more um, something that people have a lot of and maybe they're on multiple browsers and they're trying to figure it out. So what I recommend doing is using my 13 pillar system. If you haven't watched my video on color coding your life, I walk through all 13 pillars. What I recommend doing is on whatever browser you're on is creating bookmark folders based off of those different things. So I'll walk you guys through how I do that on my computer, but I just wanted to say that that is how I organize bookmarks is through the 13 pillars. All right, so let's talk about your bookmarks. So one of the things you see that I have my main ones, but I also have some additional bookmarks that I haven't organized yet. So I'm gonna go into building bookmark manager. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see over here on the left, I have them organized by pillars. So I have business projects, clients, content creation, entertainment, friends and social, health and fitness, home and household, mental clarity, mind expansion, personal finance and travel. So for example, um, I've got this item here. This is a shopping item. So you'll see it's something I wanted to buy from Walmart. So I'm gonna put that inside of shopping. Um, you know, so if there's some sort of mindfulness retreat, I'm going to put that over here in, um, I put that mind expansion. You see what I'm saying? So like, so I've got this AI tool. So I have under content creation, I have AI. So I'm gonna put that here, WordPress design, you know, so whatever it is. So this is a disc personality that's going to go under personality tests. So that is how quickly I can organize my bookmarks once I have done them. Um, for me, you know, again, like it's just something that I have at one point bookmarked and now I go through and organize and put them inside of things. So for example, if I go into personality tests, I have a ton of different um, things that I have bookmarked over time. Um, you know, so I have all sorts of different things, finance apps, I've got um, different clothing that I have bookmarked. So for me, this is just a very helpful way to organize all of my bookmarks, and then I won't have as many on my bookmarks. But you can see at the top up here, I even have them, so you can you can literally do the drop down of the different things that you need. So that is something that I try to organize my bookmarks by, is by the 13 pillars. Another thing that I like to do sometimes is if I find a really nice article, I use the Notion Web Clipper to save it specifically to a, uh, a Notion board that I call articles. And this is a great way to organize. And then I also use the Pillar, Sister, Pillow, Pillar System to organize those into the 13 pillars as well. So if I'm ever like, oh, I read that really good article that one time, it's very, very easy for me to use the search option in Notion to find all of those specific web pages. And what's cool about the Notion Web Clipper is it actually saves the entire article and puts it in Notion for you. So I'll be walking through that as well. So say that I come across an interesting article that I wanna save. I'm going to install something called the Notion Web Clipper. Now, this is an easy thing that you can do. Um, but you also have to make sure you're in the right workspace. So right now I'm logged into the wrong account. So I'm going to have to go to Notion and re-log in. And then I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do. So if I go into Notion, I'm just going to switch my account. So now that I'm here, I'm going to select here. You'll see right now it's added to the wrong one. I'm going to want to find what the right folder. And then basically it's just gonna click save page. So it's called, what is the creator economy influencer marketing hub? I click save page. Now it's actually gonna open it inside of Notion and show exactly where it is. So you'll see here, it says, what is the creator economy influencing marker hub? So it's going to actually literally copy and paste the entire article inside of Notion. Isn't that insane? So now if I go back to articles new, you'll see it's been added right here. I have obviously created all of the different um, 
you know, categories. So this would be put inside of the content. I actually have this one already, but you can see that now it is inside of this and I will have to change the um, icon, but that is how I organize. I can also add tags. So all of this is available inside of my life tracker template. I have an articles folder that looks just like this, but that is how I save articles from the web that I want to have inside of Notion. So I'll give another example. So if you open this one up, you'll see that I literally have an entire article pasted in here that I saved. So if I was ever searching for something, it would be able to find it because the article is now inside of Notion and it has all the text that you could look for. So that's a really cool way to use bookmarks using Notion. So the last thing I want to talk about is organizing your tabs. Now, I don't know about you, but there's a lot of different tabs that you can have open. Sometimes they play music. They can be very annoying. I have a very simple solution for this, and it's called OneTab. It is a free Chrome browser extension. I believe they might also have it from Firefox. I'm not sure. I personally use Chrome the most as my browser because it has so many great extensions. But I wanted to say, all you do is you click this button. If, you, if I'm realizing that there's too many browsers open, I just click the button and it moves them all to one page. It saves all of the, them as almost bookmarks and I can always reopen the page if I need to. I do this all the time and it's the best system that I have found to, to deal with overwhelm of tabs. Um, it, it, I haven't found anything better. I use, I've been using it for many years and I just wanted to share it because it's super simple and I'll show you guys right here how to use it. If you just search one tab, it will bring up this. You're just going to click add to Chrome. If you don't have any Chrome extensions, it'll pop up. Otherwise you might have to show it. I've already installed it. I have moved it all the way over to the left. So it's right here. What you're going to do is you're literally just going to select here and it's literally going to move all of your tabs into over here. So now you can always reopen them if you want to but it's going to save them almost as bookmarks. You can see you can either do restore all, delete all, share as web page, etc. For me, you can look, I have so many tabs that I've saved over time that is really helpful if I'm like have like 15 tabs open, I just click one tab, it eliminates all of them, but it bookmarks them temporarily. When I reopen them, it takes it away from this, but you can always add a bookmark if you want to. That is the easiest way I found to manage all the tabs. It saves them all and it allows you to reopen the ones that you need to reopen and then the ones that you don't need it just kind of leaves them over there so it's a way for you to save them highly recommend one tab i've been using it for years it is amazing so this is a really short video because this to me is something that is probably one of the lesser things that um, takes time to organize if you have hundreds and hundreds of bookmarks it might take you some time but for me, having all of my bookmarks inside of the pillar system has made it so much easier to use. I do the same system also with my notes uh, app, my Apple Notes. I also have folders within folders, so that has been very easy, but I've actually moved most of my Apple Notes into Notion. So basically I use Apple Notes as a quick uh, way to get my notes, but I try not to leave them in there for more than a month or so. And then I move them into Notion. So for me, I definitely use Apple Notes still as like my quick capture for when I'm like, you know, in a meeting or something, but then eventually my goal is to long-term move it into Notion, especially if it's important information. Sometimes it's just a working document and then I don't do that. But anyways, I hope that, I hope that this video is helpful for you guys and make sure to stay tuned for part five, where we'll be walking through organizing your email, which is a really important topic. Um, and then we'll be done with this series and then we'll start something new and I'll probably be making more Notion videos um, and walking through some of the changes I've made to some updates in there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.